Here's how to make a free Minecraft 1.21.7 server to play with your friends hosting a server on your own PC. Let's go! Okay guys, so the first step is to download the server file and for that click on the second link in the description. That's a quick article in here on how to do everything that we're about to do. But if you want to go straight to the point though, just go down to step 2 or the one that says downloading here. You could also scroll down a little bit and then go ahead and press where it says server.jar or you could also just type in this in your browser and that'll place you in this page. Now once you're over here, I want you to go ahead and press where it says Minecraft server 1.21.7, this green line in here. Here, and I'll begin the download for the server file right away and I want you to place that server file in your desktop you will find that file here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer just drag and drop it to your desktop desktop make sure it's called server.jar so if it's called something like server 3 or any other number just rename it to server.jar just like that no spaces server.jar keep in mind that the server that we're about to create is locally hosted and it's going to take a lot of your computer resources as well as your internet now not only that your friends will be able to join unless you have your computer on and the server run so if you want to prevent all of that, I went ahead and got you 25% off with Apex Hosting, but that's only a deal for the first 25 people to use the first link in the description to make a Minecraft server. This server will be hosted online. You don't have to worry about your connection. You don't have to worry about running your computer all the time, anything like that. Your friends could join without any troubles. They support over 200 mod packs. They support any mod loader that you could imagine. And yeah, 25% off for the first 25 people. What other better deal than that? Click the first link in the description to make your server with Apex Hosting. Now for the next step, we're going to create a new folder in our desktop. Just go ahead and right click and press new and then folder and you can name this something like server 1.21.7 or whatever you want to call it just for you to remember that this is where you're going to keep your server. Then go ahead and add the server.jar file into this folder. Now open this folder app in here and what you want to do is actually right clicking an empty space in here and create a new file but this time it's going to be a text document and I want you to go ahead and open this new text document. You can keep the name as it is right now. It doesn't matter. Just go ahead and open it up real quick and then inside this text document I want you to paste the following. Head back to that second link down below in the description and I want you to go down all the way to step four in here and in step four if you scroll a little bit down you will see that we have multiple different amounts of RAMs that you could use for your server and you're going to select one of this in here and you're just going to copy it. Let's say that you want to run a two gigabyte server. You're going to press copy on the clipboard icon right here. If you want to run a four gigabyte, just press copy on this one over here. And if you don't know how much RAM you should give your server, it should always be no more than half of your available RAM in your computer. You could always find out how much available RAM you have by heading over to the search bar down here and typing in about your PC and you'll get this in here and you can go ahead and open it and then it will tell you your installed RAM in here. As you can see, I have 16 gigabytes of installed RAM. So obviously, I don't want to go above eight. So all I'm going to do is copy the eight one right here. But again, copy the one that fits for your computer. Now, after you press copy on the clipboard, minimize this and come over to the text document and just go ahead and paste that line of text in here. Just like that. You don't have to change anything in here. Just make sure that where it says server.jar right here, it's matching your .jar file. If you don't want to change the name of your file to server.jar, then you're going to have to change this line in here to match whatever your file is called. Now, if you're following along, it should be called server.jar. Now go ahead and hit file and save. Close this text document and now we're going to rename the text document right here you could just right click on it and you could press where it says rename right here now we're going to rename this text document but before that make sure you enable file name extensions as you can see this is a .txt file and if you don't know how to see those you could just press over here on this see more right here you could go over to view and then show and then make sure you have file name extensions enabled once you enable that you'll be able to see the .txt at the end now select this and right click on it and press rename and we're going to rename this a start and then we're going to change the txt part to B A T. So your file should be called a start dot B A T. Okay. Make sure you call it just like mine. You could delete the text part and type in BAT. Then just go ahead and click on empty space and it'll give you this prompt in here. Press yes. And now you have a start.bat file and we're almost done setting up our server. All you have to do now is double click on your start.bat file and that will open the console in here, which will start trying to run your server, eventually getting all these files out. And by the way, if when you double click on your start.bat file, this doesn't happen where all these files appear. If nothing is happening or if it gives you a Java error, make sure you are running Java 21. This is a requirement for hosting a Minecraft server in your computer, specifically Minecraft 1.21.7. I'll leave you this article in the description. Again, if you're not able to open your server file, just go ahead and install Java 21. You pretty much download it and then you click next a couple of times and you will be able to run your start.bat file. Now, after you start that BAT file has finished running, you will see that a ULA.txt file will appear in here. And before we go run our server, we actually have to open that text file in here. Just double click on it and we have to change the ULA equal false to ULA equal true. So TRU 
A. So just go ahead and type true instead of false in here. No spaces after just true. And if you don't know what this means, you could go over to this link in here and see what this means. But this is a requirement for running your Minecraft server. After you change that to true, head over to file, press save. You could close the text document right now. You could close the ULA.txt file and double click on your start.bat file one more time. And that will start the server. And this time your server is actually going to run all the way until it has started and you'll be able to already join your server. Let's go ahead and wait for this to finish loading in here. Now, as you can see, it says done in here. And if you want to customize your server at any moment, you could come back to the server folder and you could edit the server that properties file. Just make sure you close your server before that, but you could just right click on it and then open it with notepad. And then under notepad, you could customize your server however you want in here. Let's say that you want to change, I don't know, the difficulty. Just look for the difficulty line in here and change it from easy to medium and change it. If you want to change it from easy and you want to put it in hard or peaceful, whatever difficulty you want to do. And you could change a bunch of other settings in here, but remember to stop your server before doing that. You could stop your server by typing a stop into the console and hitting enter. I'm not going to stop my server because I'm going to go ahead and join it. So to join the server, go ahead and open your Minecraft game. Now, once you're inside Minecraft to join your server, head over to multiplayer and then obviously read through this. If you agree, click proceed. And then you could either add a server in here just by pressing add server, or you could just direct connect to your server, join your server directly by pressing direct connection. And what you want to type in here is local host. Just go ahead and type local host in there and then click join server. And that'll put you right inside your server. Now, this is not how your friends are going to join. So if you want your friends to join your server, you actually have to port forward your server. Now, port forwarding a server, it's going to be different for everybody. Not everybody's going to follow the same process. That is why I can't put it into this video, but don't worry because I went ahead and did a whole video on port forwarding and that video should be coming up right now. So if you want your friends to join, as long as they are not under your same roof, by the way, if they're at your house, they could actually connect using your LAN connection to your server. But if they're not at your house, then you need to port forward your server. Again, that video is coming up right now on the screen. Just go ahead and watch that quick video, port forward your server, and you'll have your friends join you at no time. But there you guys have it, how to make a Minecraft server. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe and go ahead and watch that port forward video now to have your friends join you.